seem to stray. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, and I am glad you are here. And more than that, I'm glad I'm here, because I get to hear you again. The last time I heard you was 2015 at this church. And then we were scheduled for February 2nd, 2020, and there was a little glitch, and then there was a worldwide pandemic. And you're back. Thank you. Thank you. I am so excited. I have to tell you a secret rule that we have. You have sat now in those chairs for more than three minutes. And if you sit in those chairs for more than three minutes, you are a member of the Hope United Methodist Church. <laughs> also, as well as MLK and as well as your own church office. I am so, I'm so happy that you're here. Ken, God bless you. Thank you for being here. Um, I got to see you this week on, on Channel 5. You and, I don't know, half the choir here? It was awesome. It was so awesome. So I've been trying to let my folks uh, know how awesome you are. Uh, this is one of those things that if everybody knew how awesome you were, everybody would be here. Thank you. Thank you, and God bless you. Uh, let's see, you have been existing as a choir for more than two decades, is that right? Since 1996. 1996, wow. And uh, our, uh, our church's concert series has been going for 13 years, and uh, we hope to meet up with you right here many times. God bless you. Welcome. You're supposed to be clapping. Yeah. <laughs> good, good afternoon to our brothers and sisters up here at Hope, our church home yes. in the Northeast. <laughs> the choir uh, sings, uh, many of you from here, anybody new to the MLK choir, to us, new to us. <laughs> The monies that we raise provide educational grants, scholarships, exclusively in the visual and performing arts for graduating high school seniors. Private, public, homeschool, it doesn't matter. They're graduating high school senior from San Diego County. Our website, MLKCCSD, the initials of our choir.org. And if you forget that, just Google, Google it, but be sure to put it in San Diego. Otherwise, you'll get MLK choirs, maybe. Uh, a lot, there are a lot of MLK choirs. We're Martin Luther King Jr. Community Choir of San Diego, more commonly known in San Diego as the MLK Choir. And we're on the website, you can find out that information for a young person who's in your life or in the life of someone you know. I think they average about three thousand dollars. Have that correct? Yeah, we've given over two hundred thousand so far in, in the scholarship. <laughs> I just wanted to add in here that in order to make sure it goes directly uh, to MLK, make a check out to Hope United Methodist Church and write MLK or anything like that on, on the note so we can give one massive check. <laughs> <laughs> so it has been our privilege to, excuse me, do concerts up and down California uh, on the East Coast and in seven different countries, including the Vatican. And uh, uh, we were actually at Pope John Paul, the one who died before, not the one who just passed, but the one who passed before, we were at his very last Easter Mass. And uh, in, out in the court area, he was alive the next year, but he wasn't well enough to come out. And so that's being in Europe, and singing gospel throughout Europe, you'd be surprised the interest. There are churches in Denmark with 30 members attending, but there'll be a hundred voice gospel choir using their church to practice and concertize 
Um, the people in the community are drawn to the music, drawn to the energy, not yet in tune with the message. But that's the hope of the churches over there. Because the land that gave us so much of our great Christian um, writing and uh, teaching has become a mission field. Pray for Europe. Amen. All right. So the music that we sing is rooted in the southern states of America. In Africa, there's a drum language actually exists today, not as widespread as it was back then. For this, they actually drum is conversational, not just signaling each other with drums, like playing the jimpe on the mountaintop to let them know the king is coming back. But actually conversational, where they can relay newspaper articles, where they can say good morning and how are you, joke with one another, call each other names, just like you can in your own language. When the owners of the um, slaves in the southern states of America caught on to the fact that their slaves were actually communicating with these drums, they took their instruments from them. Over the course of time, the slaves began to take stories from the Bible and um, form what we now call Negro spirituals. Some of them were encouraging spirituals, keep out helping each other, you know, hold, help, Lord, help me to hold out till my change comes, and things like that. Some of them, <clears throat> excuse me, were actually expressing their faith in God. They did come to an understanding that the churches in the South were abusing the Bible in order to justify slavery. And um, the work songs, those are the ones that evolved into blues and then to rag, swing, jazz, country, rock and roll, pop, soul, and everything else. Um, most, most all of American popular music rooted in uh, the Negro spiritual, in the, the work songs, those spirituals. The code song, C-O-D-E, songs like Steal Away. Swing low, sweet cherry, this little light of mine. There is a woman in Gilead. Let us break bread together on our knees. Those are the songs the slaves used to communicate with. When they sang about leaders in the Bible, especially Moses, but Jesus and God, even in other leaders in the Bible, code name for the abolitionists. Much of America, most of America, was, was working together to end the evil in the South called slavery. Thank God for this. As a matter of fact, if it wasn't for the white abolitionists, much of the music would not have survived. But they notated it, and they even tried to notate the dialect, the way the slaves were singing it, because they thought it was important to save the music of these slaves. They didn't know the music they were notating was code music. They didn't know that. But they just felt that it was important. I'm very thankful for that. Um, and over, um, uh, over 100 songs were saved that way of the Negro spirituals, though you really only relatively still hear a few. When they sang about crossing over the Jordan River, this was the code name for the Mississippi, Ohio, and Cincinnati rivers. And when they sang about going to heaven or the promised land, any good destination, this was a code name for freedom. Freedom was generally in Canada. In Mexico, Mexico had finally grown a conscience over slavery, so that was a destination. And in the free states in America, in singing these songs, this, um, <clears throat> the, the underground railroad was successful in communicating opportunities for slaves to escape. And then I've already named to you the forms of music that have evolved forward from that. The Negro spirituals are the only slave songs in the history of the world to outlive the movement and become popular music. And in America, they're the only music whose roots are actually, it's the only music whose roots are actually in America. And that, of course, is with the exception of the music of the Native Americans, whose music and culture we're still far behind on. I mean, we have museums in Washington, D.C. There are Native American studies, but I'll bet, unless you're a Native American, you can't sing one Native American song. We're behind on that culture. So, and I'm going to ask Squire to come on up now. I let them sit through it, otherwise I get nothing but complaints. <laughs> no, it, many of them could probably do this by now. They've heard it so many times. The, it is amazing, um, during the civil rights, they walked street, across the streets of America with their arms crossed like this. Singing songs like, ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, keep on marching up to Zion, holding America accountable to such lofty ideals as justice and liberty for all, 
and we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. Isn't it amazing such documents and phrases came from the minds of slave owners? Obviously, it wasn't from them, but coming through them by God, who was placing a seed through them for what he was going to eventually do with this land. As we look more and more like these great documents that were our nation was found. We ought to give the Lord a hand. We're going to open up with one of the protest songs, uh, Sojourn of Truths, uh, Battle Him.
even with my foot Waters in, I lose my way Even with my heart down, sin I seem to stray
spiritual. When they start singing glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burden down, the chance to get out of here, the chance to get away. Generally, with the Negro spirituals, the chorus is an announcement. The person's name is structures. Pretty ingenious. The song says glory, glory, hallelujah, since I laid my burden down. Say that. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I laid my burden down. Good. Anything else you have to say beyond that, you'll catch it from me. Say it. Oh, did I tell you you get ready to sing with us? <laughs> I figured the closer to the time, the less time you have to be nervous and anxious. About it. it sounds like this. Glory, glory.
I kind of gave you the talk that I was supposed to give you right now, earlier, <laughs> about why we raise our monies and funds like this. They, you know, they asked me to talk about it. They get ready to ask you for some money. <laughs> if you can help us, that's wonderful. And if you can't help us, don't worry about it. No worries, okay? Best you can. The money that we give, because we are a 100% um, volunteer organization, and uh, uh, from its governing boards to the directors, and everything, of course we do have expenses like other community choirs, like our corporate papers, and 5013C, insurance, all of that. But the most of this money goes right to the kids. The bulk of this money goes to the kids because we don't have salary for those of us who are leading the choir. So if you want to know where your money goes, that where, that's where it goes. If you want to be sure, ask the IRS and they'll let you know. This choir does handle their monies, but we have a, a number of people. If you're a board member of the choir, would you please stand? I won't tell you who has your money. But these, these people here, and there's, there's more, um, there are more board members who are not here, but um, who serve diligently, they're also in the choir. And so you guys are waiting for me to go ahead and count. on his way to freedom, wasn't sure if he was going the right way, so he was told to keep his hand on the plow, keep going the way you're going. If that plow stays in your hand, it'll land you straight in the promised land. If you keep going the way you're going, you'll get to those who are going to help you get to the promised land. What's the promised land? Freedom. freedom that's right. Freedom. We're not going to heaven just yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's a code for that, yeah. Nora, Nora, let me come in. Doors are fastened and the wind is pinned. Keep your hand on the plow. Hold on, hold on. Nora said you done lost your track. Can't plow straight, keep a looking back. Keep your hand on the plow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep your hand on the plow. Hold on. Hold on, if you want to get to heaven, let me show you how. Just keep your hand on the gospel plow. Keep your hand on the plow. Hold on, hold on, 
If that ball stays in your hand, learn you straight in the promised land. Keep your hand on the plow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep your hand on the plow. Hold on, hold on. Mary had a golden chain. Every link spell my Jesus name. I keep your hand on the plow. Hold on, hold on. I keep on climbing and don't you tie. Every round goes high and high. Keep your hand on the plow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, my brother. Hold on, hold on, dear sister. Hold on. Keep your hand on the plow. Hold on, keep your hand on the gospel plow, hold on, keep your hand on the gospel plow, hold on, keep your hand on the gospel plow, and hold on.
street, a couple of people here. Billy, come back out for a bit and see you. I was going to do that first, and I decided to do it last, and let it go all together. Thank you, Billy. Please help me to appreciate our drummer over here.
Can we all say, wow? Wow. Thank you. You are such a deep blessing. And, you know, especially the drummer, because I'm a, I'm a drummer and my dad's a drummer, too. Yeah. Yeah. Especially all of you. Thank you. Uh, let's go have some cookies together, and let's go talk together, and uh, be blessed by each other.